Hello professionals, welcome to YK360 YouTube channel, in this video we have a practice session for the beginners, we are going to create project planning and scheduling for oil and gas project in Primavera P6 software. I recommend the beginners to go throughout the video and practice the same in your system. Please follow our channel to get regular practice sessions. Ok now let's start the session. Assume our company name is Raswin Contracting Company and our company got a new project in oil and gas facility. Our project is to do turnaround and inspection for a air receiver drum. We are going to create planning and scheduling using Primavera. As per our scope of work received from our client, our work is to shut down the drum and then replace two flanges on the top of the drum, and after that we need to do external blasting and coating, for the whole drum. Based on the scope of work, we have divided the work into three WBS, they are isolation, mechanical activity and then blasting and coating. Each WBS are further divided into different activities. You can see the activities on screen. We are going to create WBS which is work breakdown structure, and activities based on the chart display here. In this lesson, we are going to create an enterprise structure name, Raswin Contracting Company, then we are going to create new project and then create WBS and then create activities under each WBS, then, assign relations and schedule them. First open Primavera P6 software, and set oil and gas utilities as admin preference industry. To do this click admin option on menu bar and then click admin preference. In admin preference select industry and then select utilities, oil and gas. Click close and click ok, done. Now we are going to create a new enterprise project structure. Under the name Raswin Contracting Company. For this. Select Enterprise option on menu bar and then click Enterprise Project Structure. EPS window will open, on the window. Click Add button on the right side, new EPS will be added. Now in EPS ID type RCC. And in EPS name. Type. Raswin Contracting Company. Now it's done, click Close. Now we have successfully created DPS. Now we are going to create a new project under our EPS. For creating a new project, just go to Enterprise and click Projects. The Projects window will open. Now on the right corner of the window, there is a plus option. Click it. Now your new project window will open create a new project window on the enterprise select our company Raswin contracting company select this and click assign on the right corner select then click the next window here you need to type our project ID I put the short form of air receiver drum ARD09 and the project name as air receiver drum and then click next we will move to the next window in the next window we need to assign the project plan start date I will put August 1, 2023 as my start date and the finished date we will update later so click next and the responsible manager enterprise now click finish now your project is successfully created up to now we have created an enterprise and also the project new project next step we are going to create WBS for creating the WBS click the WBS icon in your left corner and the WBS window will open now we need to create the three WBS based on our chart and for the same you have the add button plus button in the right corner click the add button we need three WBS I am so I am creating 
the three the uh, clicking the add icon three times so now my three wbs are successfully created but it is not aligned in the same way one is under the other so i will bring it to the left corner you can just select and click the arrow button in the right down side you can see now it's all in the same line we are now going to assign the wbs name based on our previous chart plan the chart first we going to do isolation next is the mechanical activity and then we are going to do blasting and coating just type the wbs name you can also change the name in the downside detail bar we will see everything in detail in the next video this is only for the basic basic video so now we have successfully created three wbs in name isolation mechanical activity and blasting and coating next step we are going to create activities under every wbs for this click the activities icon in the left side the activities windows will open now we are going to create activities under each wbs now i keep the my cursor in the isolation wbs and i am going to create the activities just go to the right corner press the plus button for creating the new activity how many activity you record you can create there i need only five four activities so i have created the four activities under isolation and under mechanical activity i need two i have created the two and for blasting and coating i will create it later so now i am going to rename the activities first i am going to do scaffolding erection for my tank we need, we have some elevation work so i need scaffolding erection i have renamed it as activity as scaffolding erection and after the scaffolding erection has completed we will depressurize the tank and bypass the drum okay after that we are going to do blinding and isolation of walls why we do scaffolding at the first because the walls are uh, at the top side of the drum we need to go the higher elevation so we do the scaffolding at the beginning itself now everything is done and it's uh, air receiver drum so there will be no hazards so we can open the man way now after the inspection we have to do the start the mechanical activity we need to cut the flanges as per our scope of work so under the mechanical activity we will include cutting and removing the old flange the next activity we have cutting and removed and uh, we are going to install uh, fit up and uh, weld full weld the flanges actually we are not planning in very detail as is as this is a basic uh, we are not going so deep so uh, we will see more deep in the other uh, upcoming lessons now fit up and uh, full weld on the new flanges and after in the under the blasting and coating wbs we will add six new activities what are the activities after the welding is completed they will do box up cover the area and they will start blasting painting and they will uh, remove grit and they will start uh, coating and then they will remove the blind and everything and then they will remove scaffolding so as per our uh, chart we prepared before we need to create the activities based on the chart so just create the chart blasting outside the drum and after that 
cleaning the grid and then after we will start coating the coating will take up to oh, 3 or 4 days maybe it have 2 or 3 coatings based on the scope uh, based on the coating type the primer intermediate top coat extra etc now we are not going in deep we are just in glance so uh, after the coating we will do deep blinding and uh, dismantle scaffolding there also they will do hydro test and more we will not including everything as this is the basic now we are going to assign the relationship between the activities that is the predecessors or successors finish to start start to finish or uh, start to start uh, we are going to assign now which relation for assigning the relation you must go to the detail window the downside window there you can find the tab called relationship just go to the tab and there is an option called assign in the downside of the relations tab now i will adjust it's uh, it's in the downside now you can see the scene now keep the cursor on the depressure bypass drum and click assign now scaffolding erection is the predecessor of depressure and bypass drum so the window open and you select the scaffolding erection and click assign button in the right side of the window now it's assigned like the same you select in the back side window blinding and isolation and here in the uh, front uh, assign predecessor window select depressure bypass drum and click assign and like the same you select for all the activities opening man way before opening man way we need to finish the blinding isolation so select the blinding isolation in the assign predecessor and click assign so this is the basic version basic uh, lesson so i am selecting uh, finish to start for all the activities that you can see in the activities in the activities window you need you select the uh, activity and in the predecessor window you select the predecessor uh, above the activity and click assign you please try this lesson in your home so that it will be familiar for you okay now click the deep blinding and click the predecessor apply coating and assign and for the same you finish until the last okay in the assign window assign predecessor window you need to click the predecessor and just click assign now all the relations are assigned we are going to schedule the project schedule you can you can see an option both in the menu bar there is a tools and go to schedule or you can plus F9 the schedule window will open and just you need to click schedule or the you can change the date and you can click the schedule now you can see the Gantt chart the activities are uh, scheduled the original duration date is set 5 is the default date set in the primavera I set it before so if you need you can change the date okay to see the predecessors you can click the option in the uh, downside toolbar it will display the predecessors and now you can if you need you can change the date duration of the uh, activities in the original duration tab and now i will show you by changing one or two now we will change and see the blasting outside drum duration I will change it to 15 now you can see in the Gantt chart the duration of the blasting outside the drum is uh, going more it's so now I change it to 25 but the schedule is not done so the it is Gantt chart is not aligned so schedule it again then you can see it is aligned properly like the same you can check for other also I will do it for one more okay I will check for the cutting and re removing flow flange uh, fit up and uh, full weld new flange I will change the duration into 
more we will see if you will put 15 and now you can change the Gantt chart the length of the bar increases now schedule it again see now it is aligned properly so we have successfully completed our uh, first practical lesson thank you for watching the video if you are new to planning and uh, you are interested in learning please subscribe and uh, click the bell icon and also please comment if you have any doubts